nine plus one. Look. Oh, my feet are about to explode. at 22.1. I guess I probably don't have to lean into the mic too much, do I? Or can it pick yeah, I know. You got to <laughs> get right up there so okay. you can hear your voice. So Did you hear it at the beginning? Yep. Jeter. I know. I know. I know. Shut up. I'm Sam, okay. yours are super fast. Yeah. I'm a father. <laughs> I'm a father, so, too, by the way. Oh, yeah. That's right. Yeah, congrats, man. That's right. I forgot about that. Well, still, I have two kids. Right. So I have hurts. two kids, too. Gosh dang it. <laughs> How many you got? Tasia three? I've got <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> kids yet. Okay. Oh, everyone's on the dumbo snatch. Looking good. Yeah, so you know what? So three wall walks, twelve and uh, you know, I'll tell you what, that actually I didn't know it was twelve dumbbell snatches. I don't know why. Like in my head I was thinking three, ten, fifteen. That's weird. So I what do you mean that's weird? Like what is three it's just 12, random. 15? I feel like twelve makes more sense. Just in my okay. head. Okay. Well anywho. <laughs> so Oh, Darren, you're using the high box jump. Did you like that? I, I historically have a terrible spring. Like, I mean, like for me to like jump and like stay low, it puts more pressure like on my back to land in a deep squat like that like like consistently. So, you know, I mean, JJ throwing his hand up, letting the crowd know. Wow, yeah. Five in or ten in, but yeah, I mean, I was literally throwing my hands up at with everything I got. You can see me literally flick my wrist to like help launch my hips. Sam's already way way ahead of me here. Did you use that strategy the whole time on the yeah. box? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Sam, actually, when you were doing it, did you even, like, look at your pace, like, around? I mean, like, what did you do that a first round in? So, I did look on my, after my first round. <clears throat> I was, like, a 115. I was, like, all right, just try to keep that pace. And That's right about I was trying I was. to not look at this, the, the time, actually, because I didn't want to, like, yeah. you like want to, to play in my mind and stuff like that. So, mm. yeah. I did look at 730, like we talk. <laughs> yeah, the yeah, yeah. I was, yeah. like, oh, my God. Seven thirty minutes to go. That's exactly uh, when it got to the seven minute mark, and I happened to look over at it. I look over at JJ, who was judging me, and I said, "I'm not even halfway." And it wasn't like an "oh crap" moment, but reality really did like start to set in. It's just one of those classic open workouts where you got to shut your mind off. You're gonna just try and hold the pace the whole time. You know, it's not one of those ones where the weight gets heavier, the reps go up, everything yeah. stays the same. Do you feel like you kept your pace, both of you guys, like consistent from the beginning, or did you speed up or fall off? Or um, I mean, personally, I did. I mean, I did speed up for the last round. But okay. Actually, I think I. I mean, I don't see my time correctly, but I think I did hang on my pace the whole time. I was I like mean, the same feeling of like a long run, long run workout. Like the first five minutes, like oh my god, it's gonna take forever, and after that, we're just you like kind of like groove it. Yeah, we're just like, settled, yeah. Of, like I don't know, just do your reps and that's it. Yeah. But I did actually. I mean, I, I don't know. I, yeah, I mean, like mine, I mean, you know, obviously I still, I still work out like I'm still competing like I was like back then and I shouldn't be. <laughs> so my first two rounds, I feel like I'm the fittest man alive. <laughs> and then everything after that, it really starts to just pound in on me. And I, then I have to start like doing a really big like reality check in it and slow down. So yeah, I mean like first round, second round. I had probably ideally around the pace I wanted. Then I started to fall off, like, just a little bit. Maybe, like, five, ten seconds tops. Around. Yeah. But really, it's, like, in this workout where I noticed it was the box jump overs, I had to slow it down. Because you weren't recovering there. You were, like, no, getting yeah, jacked up. Yeah, I was up not. There. Yeah, I would say the heart rate was getting spiked. Because the dumbbell snatch, you know, if you're competing, or at least have competed in the past, you're probably going to do them unbroken. I really don't think there's a reason to break them up. Yeah. I don't know, Sam. I, I, I mean, don't know if you can no, speak to I it as well. They are the easy part. Of the yeah. Workout. Yeah. You know, you kind of like kettlebell swing or those movements. It's like mm -hmm. momentum based. You come down, you swing your, you know, you launch your hips through, you, you throw your arm. And at some point, if you need to breathe, you can just like have that little pause at the top. Exactly. And, yeah. 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 The, you know, like with the box jump overs, I don't, I, there were some points like where like my foot would like feel like it got stuck on top. You know, you kind of get like a little that. grip, yeah. kind of get a little grip and squeak movement going on. Um, I'd feel unathletic at some points when I was really tired because I couldn't jump as high, and I'm bald, oh, yeah. so things were just weird. 
Sam, I feel like you use a very straight leg yeah, on yeah. the dumbbell snatch. Is that on purpose or just? <laughs> uh, <laughs> how do you feel about that? How do you, how do you I feel mean, about that? I mean, for, I mean, it's 50s, huh? so it's, yeah. it's light. Yeah, it's light. Yeah. Yeah. And we've been doing a lot of, I mean, I've been doing a lot in the garage with 100 pounds lately. So I was kind of like, I don't know, 50 was like fitting a 35. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. It like if I have to redo the workout, I might, I would do the same, same strategy, just might, little bit try to rush my movement in the dumbbell quick like a little bit to save maybe like a one two seconds each round so at the end it's like a 20 yeah ish some 100%. like second i can save and i don't know maybe try to go a little bit faster the wall but at the same time like you if we look at noah when he, I mean, he did it the like the like first five minutes of the workout and after that he just start crashing breaking so down like, yeah i don't know it's hard to say but it is, you know, and it's like yeah. you you never know in a workout like this when you're going to hit that wall because mm -hmm. it will happen. Yeah. Like, you know, there's just, you know, especially like if you're trying to get a great score, you know, I mean, like if you're trying to push, I think we were talking about like before, like a minute 30 is 10 rounds. Mm -hmm. So, like, you know, if you can hold around every 90 seconds, you're looking at like 10 rounds. Well, you know, sometimes if people know that wall's coming, they may come out at a minute 25 pace to kind of get themselves a little bit ahead because they start to plan for, you know, I mean, you, you, you start to plan for crap to hit the fan. Yeah, for sure. But, uh, you know, sorry, go ahead, T. No, I was going to say on the wall walks in the tips and tricks, <laughs> you were talking about kind of like that jump up. Do you actually think that that would have been more valuable or? That's what I'm doing. That's kind of what you're doing. Um, yeah, no one told me that. I mean, lately, that one, Jake has been programming, programming me wall walks instead of instant walk because I'm good at instant walk. I don't know why, but one day I just tried to just jump both of my feet together on the wall, and it actually feel, I mean, better. I feel way better. Maybe for some people it's harder, but for me, I'm like, I don't know if you guys see, but I bring, like, one feet at the time on the ground instead of, like, just my, smashing myself. Yeah. I don't know. I just my, keep my breathing a little bit lower, and I feel great. And yeah, you kind of use it. I'm still moving fast, so. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, but I've been doing a lot of wall walks lately. So. What I kind of find, too, and again, this this might be one of those things where some people look, you know, like a little bit too deep into it, but, and not that I'm a master wall walker by any means, which this video will clearly show, but kind of like Sam's talking about, you kind of use your, like one of your legs to kind of drag itself down on the wall so it slows your, so you kind of slow your momentum, like you said, so you don't crash. That's what I kind of found helped me because sometimes when I would just plop, then that kind of exhale of, <gasps> would like happen rather than that smooth like control like i'd use like one leg to kind of just ride that wall down while the other one just kind of met the ground yeah you know like little things like that but yeah like in a workout like this you know looking back on it knowing you know like what i know transition is always everything especially like mm -hmm. you know like the open it's so important and obviously now that they really do set the standard hard of everybody's the same distance away from the wall you know, the dumbbell can only be within a certain area. The box can only be, like, within a certain area, which I think is great because back then the Open was everybody trying to find the little yeah. bit of leeway yes. or who can move their equipment the closest. So, but, like, <clears throat> getting off that box and getting right down into it, I was, you know, watching, just watching this video right now, I'm wasting, compared to Sam, I'm wasting almost three seconds compared to, like, what Sam's doing. You mean getting back into the wall walk? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Just getting from that. And again, you add that up over nine rounds, you're talking about 30 some, you know, like 30 yeah. seconds. Oh. Yep. You know, so I actually could have beat him. <laughs> <laughs> That's all it would have yeah. taken. Yeah, just uh, as I'm sitting here right now, I just now realized that mm -hmm. it was possible. Okay, also, Darren, talk about your, your power snatching right now and why you did that and why you, I think you changed back to a muscle snatch, right? Great question, T. Sorry, I just stuffed my mouth. But, um... So I was messing around with this, actually. Um, you know, I'm not a very strong athlete, so I just started thinking as I'm moving, maybe I should start power snatching these, starting to dip under them a little bit. And when I try it, like, it always feels smoother, you know, like, smoother to me to power a movement because I get under it, I get to use my legs a little bit more, save, you know, like, my shoulders. But when you're going into a lower body dominant movement right after, that's where I found it was not paying off. You know, because you're dipping under it, just that little bit of two-inch drop into that leg press was getting my quads and then going to a box jump, which naturally will blow up my legs. So I started to switch back to the muscle snatch because, again, it's 50 pounds. I've done it hundreds of times, even though I don't work out as much, but it still feels, you know, just as comfortable, like, sometimes. So, yeah, that's that. I mean, that was kind of my, like, my little recommendation for it. 
if you want to save your legs a little bit and know that you can muscle snatch, then I recommend muscle snatching. Yeah, I'm always curious because I tend yeah. to lean towards power snatch. Yeah. Like, I just Same. like them better yeah. for some reason. But I just feel more athletic with them, too. Yeah. But Can we shout out these ladies down yeah, here just crushing great. it? They are. Yeah, actually, it really was so ridiculous. upsetting to be laying on the ground stopping and seeing them still moving the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, when I say upset, you know, upsetting, I was upset with myself. <laughs> I was very happy for them and Sam. <laughs> to crush it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But, yeah, you know, and then, I mean, what, just staying, like, on the box jump overs, too, it's, like, those little mental checkpoints of if you can get to 10 on them and you're still keeping that pace, five just seems to just move by fast, yeah. you know, or, or, sorry, like, the last five reps of it. Yeah, Sam, tell us about one your thing, box jump overs. One thing I do on the wall walks, I don't know if you guys going to see it, but, like, I'm doing, like, look at my hands, my left one. So I'm doing three step with my right one because it's my strong arm, and my uh-huh. left one just touch the tape and go back right after. Damn, right. Son of a gun, Instead of you, you like it. you take a pause at, at the top. So I mean, at yeah. some point. Yeah. No. Hey. No. It's true. It's Fine. true. Yeah. I really appreciate you pointing out my flaws. <laughs> I'm going to be using all these strategies yeah. in order to beat yeah. Darren. Maybe I'll find something tomorrow. wrong with yours. <laughs> <laughs> I hope your back feels okay tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, and. I mean, kind of like Sam said, too, you know, in this workout, there are going to be desperate breathing points. You know, there are. I mean, especially for the everyday athlete and stuff like that who, you know, are just trying to get, like, a good score. I mean, for yourself, like, that pause at the top on the power snatch is crucial. Maybe not trying to instantly go right back into a box jump like Mm -hmm. I'm starting to do, do, like, where you just kind of stop for a second and then jump. You know, little, I mean, little things like that will allow you to at least keep moving, whether it is a little slower pace. But again, as long as you can just suck it up, tell those little mental demons to, to you know to shut up or be quiet. <laughs> be quiet, please. Yeah. Thank you. Hush. But seriously, Sam, I want to hear you talk about the box jump because you don't even look tired. Is that the uh, reality? Or? Yeah, Sam. What are you taking? Honestly, it's, uh, <laughs> the hardest part. I mean, we talk about it at some point after like a eight nine minute of workout, your toes and your feet yeah. start cramping. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was a uh, was the. I mean, that was what was. Bothering me in the workout is like you try to relax at some point your toes, but you can't because you're jumping every time. Yep. But uh, if you can keep your heart rate low on the on those box jump, I think it's a huge advantage for the rest. Um, but yeah, so we don't see it because of the box. But every time I was doing my number snatches, I was bringing my toes up at the end, try to relax as much as possible because after, Damn. after each, I don't know. I'm right. I'm 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 right next to you, and you're not telling me any of this. <laughs> like Darren, pull your toes up. But yeah. You guys uh, need to warm up your toes, your feet, yeah. Yeah. with a ball like under your feet. We go to work before the workout. Your calves, yeah, yeah, because, smart. Uh, yeah, this is where it's gonna hurt. Yeah, you know the uh, the uh, step like the mandatory step down. I was very happy to see, just because uh, you know the 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 risk of injury. Like when they first announced this course, everybody thought of the like Achilles and stuff, and that was something I was so grateful. In this, because I've, I mean, I've done workouts in the past, especially the open where they have had the box jumps and you can feel that constant strain on your calves and the Achilles. And I I will say I was happy that I didn't feel like my calves necessarily were hurting me. Again, it was like more or less like my legs and also like my feet, Mm -hmm. you know, because of just naturally, you know, like with these movements. Yep, I agree. So. I'm super pumped they made it the step down. Yeah, I was really hoping they would allow you to step up. Yeah, I mean. You know. We can dream. Yeah, I know. We can. I wish eventually down the road they start taking it into consideration the height of the box for shorter people. You know? No. <laughs> I mean, but a man can dream. The girls are crushing. Where are we at here, yes, too? I mean, are. What's the time? I think it's <clears> third. Was that eight something or, or nine? Are we at 13? I'm then? not sure. Yeah. Uh, no, no. Uh, yeah. I feel uh, like you guys have done a lot of rounds. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> me, too. I mean, the keys of the workout is slow, smooth, <clears throat> smooth, fast. Exactly. Like, if you start too fast, you're going to crash at some point. Yeah. <clears throat> I think we, you would better like, start slower. And you feel, feel, I mean, if you've done a work, you finish with the workout, and you're like, oh, I can go faster. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Hit the redo on Monday. There's like, I don't yeah, think that's people are open. going to be that sore from that workout, but. And it's no. not mentally like no, that I mean, sick yeah. feeling where you finish. And yeah, you know, it was it it was one of those ones like again, you know, it's it, it's not like that I'm like competing for something, so there wasn't that extra push like at the end like where hey these extra reps truly do matter. But 
when I got done, after a minute or two, I could walk around, you know, feel comfortable. It wasn't like one of those classic open workouts where you're on your back, you want to, you, you hate your life, yeah. you're going to pass out. I love hearing feeling. that. I know, right? Yeah, <laughs> I know. I do too. I get excited. But, but, and then, of course, making sure you don't have a slick floor is nice <laughs> or a slick dumbbell. Yeah, so. do you think there's an advantage to using a mat? I know that they did. Uh, a lot of people did that last year. Yeah. Well, considering a mat as, it, like, as cheating, actually, I oh, think. Okay. Yeah. But See, they allow it, right? Yeah, and, and you know, it, but I think it's cheating. And, and you know, I've, I've, I've never cared for the mat as far as just the sense of, like, I feel like it, I, I, I lose, like, that, those, all those full points of contact. You know, yeah. I mean, with my hand, because my palm will sink in more, my fingers will come up, or my fingers will sink in, my palm yeah, comes yeah. up. I like a flat surface, you know. I like a solid flat flat surface. Well, that's it. That's it. Yeah. yeah.